Hey class, let's do one more video. Sometimes when you're working the quadratic factor type of partial fraction integration, you will run into a part, and it's usually on the quadratic factor type, where one of your denominators could end up something like x squared plus four. It's a quadratic, but it can't factor anymore with real numbers. There are times when you catch a break, like for example, this one. If you look at the denominator, x squared plus four, its derivative is two x, which luckily is our numerator. So this is a case where it has a real friendly antiderivative, and you can take the natural log. Since x squared plus four isn't negative, in fact, if you were to graph it, the parabola never hits the x-axis or goes below it, below it. You don't have to use absolute values, even though it's still correct. Um, but anyway, the antiderivative is natural log of your denominator. Fair enough. On the next slide, I want to introduce the inverse uh, tangent, excuse me, inverse tangent and its formula. One over a constant squared plus x squared. It could also be x squared plus some constant squared, dx. But it's gonna be a case where your numerator is not the derivative of the denominator. For this particular formula, your antiderivative is one over a tan inverse of x over a plus c. This can also be written with arc tan. It just depends on which way you're used to seeing it. it depends on your history of math and who your instructors were in the past. It's just another way to write it. I found over the years some students are more comfortable with the tan inverse notation. Some are more comfortable with arc tan. Totally fine. Now here's an example of a look-alike from the first slide, but not quite the same. The integral of 2 over x squared plus 4. In the first slide, we had 2x on top, which was the derivative of the denominator, and it had a friendly antiderivative where it's natural log of your denominator. But this one isn't quite right. You can always multiply in numbers and their reciprocals. Like if the numerator had an x up there, it's totally fine to multiply in a 2 and then a 1 half out front, as long as it's the number. But you can't do that with variables, like you can't multiply in an x with the 2 and then do a 1 over x out front. Sadly, it just doesn't work that way. I am going to factor the 2 out. This will put it in the format from that second slide. Your constant a is the square root of 4, which is 2. And x, no, well, it's just x. Nothing special there. The antiderivative is 2 times 1 over a, which is a half, tan inverse. x over a plus c your two and the half will cancel so this gives you a final answer of 10 inverse Invert, or excuse me, arc tan is another way you can write it. It's totally fine. Tan inverse of x over 2 plus c. I just wanted you to be aware that 
sometimes your numerator is missing a variable instead of a number when you're looking at the derivative of your denominator being the numerator, which if that's the case, wonderful. It's the antiderivative's natural log of your denominator. But if it's not, and it's very close, something like this last example, then you just have to be very careful to recognize it.